Dracula, which is obviously a tier 7 premium, and it's an OP, pretty OP one, it's not broken, but it's, yeah, it's quite OP, and the straight off the bat, its speed is overpowered, like, its horsepower, 1380, um, so its power to weight ratio is 41. Yeah, that's just atrocious. It's better than the LTTB in speed. I think it has a lower top speed than the LTTB, but it has a higher acceleration. So, its hull turn rate is 62 degrees per second. Its turret turn rate is 57 degrees per second. Its top speed is 65 going forward and 20 going backward. And its gun depression is 10 degrees. Its gun elevation is 20 degrees. It's aiming time. It's like 3.5 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. And its average damage is 200. Standard 190 for the premium and 270 for the HE. And its average pen for the standard 155 millimeters. Its average pen for the premium is 100, I mean, 237 millimeters. <laughs> and its hit points are 1325. Its DPM, that's okay. It's about six seconds. Its reload is about 6 seconds. Its view range, it's a nice view range, you can do some nice spotting with it about 280 meters. It's armor, it's like about 20 to 30 meters. But you can get some control bounces on the um, spaced armor. So, spaced armor kind of catches the shots. So that's the way you will get some bounces, but definitely don't rely on it. And in the space, because the spaced armor, a lot of the space So now let's get right into the battle. I'll show my equipment after the battle. So right here, we used our speed to get to a position where we can work for with our gun depression and our decent DPM. It seems like a bit more to me, like even though the DPM is 2000, to me it seems like a bit more, but yeah, so we're getting some nice shots in this, into this P43 and using our gun depression, he cannot get shots into us and we're just wrecking them. Enemy and then we destroyed. use our speed to get around the city 100 who tried to get um, a nice shot. Enemy and is damaged. does get it. And an eye loader luckily only gets a shot. Otherwise we'd be almost dead. We get a random shot. Just missed the That one ricochet. And right here I realize I have to run. Otherwise I'm going to run. So I use my excellent acceleration and speed to run as fast as I can back to my last remaining teammate because it's good to stick together um, and there are a lot of low healths on the enemy team, a lot and I've already got two kills so what happens later so the smasher comes right around the corner takes you into our into that smasher, which was already extremely low health. He's put P43 rushing down Please and he's getting nice another target. And he sees SU100 shooting right up to us. He might be able to finish us off if he gets that one shot into us. Come on. Yes, he misses. So we use our excellent gun depression. Peek down. Get and I realize I'm not going to be able to do anything to this full health annihilator as he has a very good turret turn rate and hull turn rate so I can't really circle him very well and I'm a one, well, two shot technically thing actually, yeah, so I'm like a two shot thing now I see this MT25 when I'm running away 
I get a shot in the now I'm on six kills. Six kills. And this is exciting what happens here. So I decide I'm not gonna go into close combat with this guy, this um, annihilator, because otherwise I'll probably get crushed. Even with this excellent mobility, it's gonna be hard. So I get into a spot where I can use my view range and my decent concealment around 30 to 40% which isn't spectacular but it's okay so I hide behind this bush and see if I can spot him out before he can spot me out so, so this person calls me lucky I'm not really lucky because everything's relative and yeah because I'm not lucky I'm actually decent at the game so I know how to play uh, so here we're waiting here to see if we can outspot him and surprising, well not surprisingly, he caps the base. So my plan is if he gets to 50, I'll go and shoot him. So I have AP loaded. I should have just loaded AP HE at the start because then I would have almost guaranteed the shot on him. So I'm at six kills here. So if I can kill him, which will be unlikely, but let's see what happens. If I can kill him, I'll get seven kills. If I don't kill him, Oh, uh, this will be a tricky one because if he gets two shots into me, which he has a burst clip, it could be extremely dangerous. Well, I would die. So I have to be very careful here. And I'm waiting. I'm taking my time because I know I have a decent amount of time. So now it gets almost to 50. I'm going out because I don't want to take my chances. And first here I load AP. It was a bit of a mistake, but I thought I could pen him. So right here, I peek up over the ridge line, just right up here, I peek up, I get a shot into him, but he bounces, he ricochets, so I decide to load HG, which I should have done in the first place, and it's at 80 seconds left, I get a lucky HG shot, and there's 5 seconds left, so yeah. Battle, but um, so the reason you might have been looking at the timer and looking at the cap, he it was a close one. He might have just made the cap, or he might have not made it, and the um, time could have ended before he capped. But I think he had fast capture, so it was catching up. So I needed to make sure I could secure the win. Well, it wasn't a win; it was a draw. But you could see only two thousand battles, but. Um, not 2,000 battle, 2,000 damage and 6 enemies destroyed. I get a mastery badge class 2, top gun, pools medal, and defender, reaper, and enemy destroyed, and all those other useless badges. So top of the leaderboard, well, for my team at least. And this has been a good battle, but... Uh, so this is my equipment. I use gun rammer because you could definitely increase its penetration. It's penetration, I had forgot to tell you this, it's penetration, you can struggle. You can struggle, so this would be useful, but I still use gun rammer just to boost that up a little. I use enhanced gun laying drive because that's pretty useless, um, because supercharge is pretty useless. We need want to decrease our aiming time a bit. Refined gun because, yeah, we could use this. I'm happy to use this, but I just use this because why not? It decreases our dispersion, even though it's a rushing gun, so it's has it's like amazing dispersion, even if it says it's not. Um, so defense system, you you probably could just use improved long jewels. I don't really care. I just use this anyway. Just maybe use that. I use improved assembly because its arm is worthless unless. Um, because the only bounces you can get is troll and toolbox because why not it already has a special track ability where it almost instantly repairs the track so why not make that a bit faster and why well its tracks are already weak so it's not going to withstand anything even with the enhanced tracks improved optics because we're not going to be sitting at the back camping we need that improved view range to be able to spot Engine accelerator, because it's already really fast, why not make it a bit faster? You could use both, but I just use this because it increases that 
a bit and all of this. So high end consumables, you could use either. It doesn't really matter, I just use high end consumables. And that ends off the video. That does end off the video. Um, so I will see you all next time. And yeah, so we'll see you all next time. And good luck on the battlefield. Thank <laughs> you.